Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to run Windows XP on a single board computers like Raspberry Pi, Tinkerboard, etc. First we are going to create a virtual hard drive for Windows XP. I have created a virtual hard drive using QMO uh, of 5 GB. You can create anything greater than 2 GB for Windows XP. Once you are done with the virtual hardware creation, you can specify as parameter for the QMO system i386 and also specify the Windows XP ISO CD-ROM. So let's get it booted. I have fast forwarded most of the installation since it will take more than 35 minutes. So once we are done with the formatting, then the installation would stop. If you like watching this video, please do share, like and subscribe this video. The Windows XP installation would begin in few minutes. Once the installation is done, the whole idea is that the virtual hard drive would be copied over to the SBCs like Raspberry Pi or Tinkerboard and using QMO boot it from there. The actual installation on QMO can be done with, on the Raspberry Pi, but it will take a lot longer compared to when it is done on a PC. The installation is almost completed. So we're going to check if the Windows XP boots in the virtual machine on the computer. So, yep, it is booting. And once we get the desktop, we are going to shut it down and copy over the image to the SPC. Here I am copying it over to a hard drive which will be eventually transferred to the Tinkerboard. Okay, so here I'm um, beginning the copying process from the hard drive to Tinkerboard. While it copies, let me execute the command to open this virtual hard drive on the Tinkerboard and get the Windows XP booted on it. The performance would be improved further by using a SD card of class 6 or above where the read write speed would be compatible faster and also if you go with the Raspberry Pi 4 the overall boot up and the execution of Windows XP would be even faster. Tinkerboard is a quad core but it's a 32 bit machine. Here I'm simulating Pentium 3 but you can even choose Core to Duo or any other uh, processor configuration. As you can see, it's, it's booting up Windows XP on the Tinkerboard. So that's all I had in this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more exciting videos like this. Thank you.